So the fifth part, cos a minus sine a plus 1 divided by cos a plus sine a minus 1. We have to pr prove that equal to cos a k plus cot a. So we need to convert cos and sine in terms of cos a and cot. So how can we? How can we convert cos and sine in terms of cos a and cot? You see, uh, when you'll divide cos with sine, you will get cot, right? So, and if you'll divide 1 with sine, you will get cos a. And you will divide sine with sine, you'll get 1. So you are getting this whole thing in terms of cos a and cot. If you'll divide the numerator as well as the denominator by sine a, right? So I'll write it here cos a minus sine a plus 1 this whole thing divided by sine a this whole divided by cos a plus sine a minus 1 and this whole thing divided by sine a so I have divided the numerator and the denominator by sine a to convert everything in terms of cos and cot so what I can do is the denominator the denominator which is uh, sine a here I can give it to cos a to sine a and to 1 individually in the same way I can, I can do the same thing to the to the to this to this part of it so cos a divided by sine a plus sine a divided by sine a minus 1 divided by sine a so I'll write it I'll write it as cos a by sine a minus sine a by sine a plus 1 divided by sine a this whole thing divided by cos a divided by sine a plus sine a divided by sine a minus 1 divided by sine a so this can be written as cos a divided by sine a cos a divided by sine a is cot a minus sine a divided by sine a is 1 plus 1 divided by sine a is cos a k in the same way the denominator can also be written in terms of cos a and cot so cos a divided by sine a is cot a minus sine a divided by sine a is 1 plus 1 divided by sine a is cos a k a this whole thing divided by cos a divided by sine a is cot a right plus sine a divided by sine a is 1 minus 1 divided by sine a is cosec a so we get that we got the answer in cos cot a and cosec a but we have to prove this equal to cosec a plus cot a so this can be written as <coughs> Cosec A plus cot A minus 1. Cosec A plus cot A minus 1 divided by cot A minus cosec A plus 1. Right? So this can be written as cosec a plus cot a minus 1 divided by cot a minus cosec a plus 1. So you can write cot a plus cosec a also. There's no difference. There's no difference in this cosec a plus cot a or cot a plus cosec a. But the thing here is we have to convert this thing into cosec a plus cot a. So, so what else can we change? See there's 1 here. This 1 can be changed into cosec and cot. If you remember the formula. I'll write it in a different color. The formula which we have already done is 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosec square a. This is the formula which we have already proved. 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosec square a. Or 1 plus 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. So what we can do is uh, 
if 1 plus cot square a is cos x square a, then 1 can be written as cos x square a minus cot square a. So instead of 1, what we can write here, we can write as cos a plus cot a minus, instead of 1, I will write cos x square a minus cot square a. And this whole thing divided by cot a minus cos a k plus 1. So this can be written as cos a k a plus cot a. See, uh, ins inside this you're having actually one more formula. You're having one more formula here. Cos square theta minus cot cos x square theta minus cot square theta. You're having a squared minus b squared, right? a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we can write it as minus a plus b. So cos a minus cot a. I can write it as cos a plus cot a times cos a minus cot a. What I'm doing is I'm using the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This whole thing divided by cot a minus cos a plus 1. Now we can write here, we can write here, can simplify this as see cosec a very important here cosec a plus cot a cosec a plus cot a so this whole term can be taken as common this whole term can be taken as common so I can take cosec a plus cot a as common in both these terms right so this will be here cosec a plus cot a times 1 right cos a plus cot a times 1 will be cos a plus cot a then minus cos a plus cot a times what is this whole thing cos a plus cot a times cos a minus cot a is equal to cos a plus cot a times cos a minus cot a right so so i can write it here what will remain here inside minus cos a But this is minus here, so you have to keep the bracket. So cosec a minus cot a, right? So this whole, this will remain inside. This whole divided by cot a minus cosec a plus one. We can simplify this as cosec a plus cot a times. 1, now we can multiply negative to both, negative 1 minus cos a, negative times negative will be plus, plus cot a, right, this whole thing divided by cot, cot a minus cos a plus 1. Now you can see a very similar thing here. See, 1, 1, minus cos a, minus cos a, plus cot a, plus cot a, right? So this is the same term. 1, minus cos a, plus cot a, 1, minus cos a, plus cot a. So we can cancel it, right? We can cancel this whole thing. So you will get cos a, a plus cot a as the answer. So you see the right-hand side of the equation cos a plus cot a and cos a plus cot a so in this what we have to remember is we have to convert the cos and sines into cos x and cots by dividing the numerator and denominator by sine and then using the formula for one you know you will get one at some place in the numerator so you will use one plus cot square a is equal to cos x square a in that and that's it these two steps you will get the answer